Hello and welcome to SAP on Microsoft Azure. My name is Holger Brocholt and in this video I want to talk about the SAP Cloud Platform Portal services and how you can, for example, use it to embed Power Apps. In previous videos, we talked about how to embed SAP data in multiple user interfaces, how you could see the data obviously in an SAP Fiori user interface, in Power Apps, in Office applications, or even in chatbots and Teams. All these different user interfaces can be used so that the end user can use the user interface of his choice in a specific situation. But sometimes it's also good to have all these user interfaces in one single place. And that's exactly where the SAP Cloud Platform Portal Services can help. The SAP Cloud Platform Portal Services allows you, among other things, um, to create um, a beautiful intranet portal, also external facing, but it also allows you to combine different applications in one view. Similar to the SAP Fiori Launchpad, where you can have different Fiori tiles next to each other, the SAP Cloud Platform Portal Services allows you to have these different tiles in the portal. These tiles can be Fiori applications, but they can also be other applications. So what we want to do in this video is quickly show you how to get started with the SAP Cloud Platform Portal Services and then show you how you can actually embed um, a Power App application into the portal. What I've already done is I used this tutorial um, on developers.sap.com to create a very first portal site. So I used the SAP Cloud Platform trial environment, I followed this um, developer mission and I set up um, a basic portal site. So let's take a quick look. So I'm here in my SAP Cloud Platform trial environment. I um, have logged into the Cloud Foundry account and I selected here my Azure runtime. The first thing that I did in um, this environment is I went to subscriptions and enabled the Cloud Platform services. So with this, um, you have the Cloud Platform service, the portal service available and then you only need to assign um, permissions. So what I did is I created a new role collection um, and, and administrator role collection, and then added my specific user to this um, role so that I can actually access um, the uh, Cloud Platform services. So if I do this, let me actually go back here to the subscription and um, go to the portal application. Then I need to log on. And I'm here in the site manager of the SubCloud Platform um, portal services. So I have already started and I've created a portal site. So if I click on go to site, I can see my result. And again, this is a very, very simple portal site that just um, is supposed to show you what, what can be done. So I have here a small carousel with, with a um, page that you can uh, where you can promote some stuff. But more interestingly, if I have these my applications, in these My Applications, and we'll take a look at this in a second, I can, for example, um, add a link to a um, Bing site here, um, to a search engine. Or if I go back here, I could potentially open up um, uh, some, some information on um, SAP on Azure. Um, what I can also do is I can just take a look at um, a list of products. So this is here now one of the um, Power Apps that we had previously created. So this Power App is now embedded in my um, SAP portal um, page. Another example, obviously, is I can also um, take a look at purchase orders. So in this case, this is really a native SAP Fiori application that connects via OData to my um, backend system and retrieves a list of um, purchase orders from the SAP system. So the beautiful scenario here for the end user is that, um, well, all the information is in the portal and just depending on um, what tile you click, you get a different um, way how you communicate with the backend system. We could even embed our Excel scenario that we created in a previous video. 
So here I'm in, in the Excel online and I could now really um, work also with um, the data here from Excel. So what I want to do now is I want to embed um, a new Power Apps um, into the portal. So I click here um, on the Content Manager and you can see a list of all the applications that are currently available. So what I'll do now is I'll add a new application, give it a name, and now I have to specify the URL. So if I switch to Power Apps, and this is the homepage of my um, Power Apps, I can go to my apps, and I see here, for example, this, this Power Apps that we created in a previous video. So this is the app that I want to embed also in my portal. So if I go back here, <clears throat> I can either um, share this Power App with different users, or if I click on details, I can, can actually get the web link to this specific Power App. So I'll copy this web link and head back over to my portal. In the portal, I'll paste the, the URL. I um, go to navigation, give it a small um, semantic object name, Power Apps and Odata. I go to the visualization and I um, pick a nice icon for my Power App. Let's just take this one here. I click on OK. And that was basically it. So now I've created the application in my content manager. The next thing is I need to um, add this new application to uh, the group, the, the SAP group that I have created. So I'll click here on SAP. I click on Edit. And now I can look for the um, new application that was created and I just click on add and add it to this SAP group, which basically is the set of tiles that you saw previously. Now I also need to give um, this group permissions. So I, again, I click on everyone. I search for my new Power App. I click on plus and I click on save. And that's basically it. So if I go back to the portal screen and to my apps and I refresh this page, You can see that I have one more entry here for the Power Apps via Odata. If I click on this tile now, then the Power Apps is loading. And we have the relevant data directly here again in my SAP Cloud Platform portal, but displayed via a Power App. So I hope that this very quick video showed you how you can actually leverage the SAP Cloud Platform portal services to really combine all the different ap applications in one single place. It can be a Fiori application, it can be a Power App application, it can also be an Office application like we saw, saw in, in the Excel online scenario. I hope you enjoyed this very quick video about the SAP Cloud Platform Portal services and Power Apps. Thank you very much for watching.